Crow in a Basket, episodes 73, 74, and 75. It feels like such a long time since I've watched this show. I'm so excited, but at the same time, I'm devastated because it's gonna be the end of it. But I am really pumped. So Akashi has just gone into the zone, and Seiren is only down by 12 points. But let's all keep in mind the fact that Akashi has forsaken the rest of his team at this point. He's gonna do it all by himself. He gets by Kagami, who is also supposed to be in the zone. So because Akashi won't rely on Aniva's teammates, it's pretty much just going to come down to the two players who are in the zone fighting against each other. But it's different than when it was up against Aumine. Kagami could keep up with Aumine, but he can barely just cling to Akashi. He's standing in front of that door to get to the super zone, but there's someone in the way. Who could it be? <laughs> Do you think it's Kuroko? But then in the real world, Kuroko comes up and he's like, we should give up on this you doing it all by yourself. You don't have to do a one-on-one -on -one fight against Akashi. Akashi gets the ball and he makes a run down the court, but uh, both Kuroko and Kagami are there to defend. So what happened is that Kuroko watched Kagami's movements, and based on what Kagami did, Kuroko did like the opposite of the mirror. So they were able to get in Akashi's way. And he totally smacked the ball out of Akashi's hand and everyone's like, what just happened? Including Akashi, who just like is completely just, oh, I don't know what to do about this. Akashi has a moment of just like, he can't even. And then he sprints back to defend. He, he couldn't believe that there was a turnover. That was his fault. Oh my God, Akashi's going super sad and he scored the basket over Akashi. This is gonna make him so mad. Oh my god, Akashi even landed on his ass like a fool. <laughs> <clears throat> so because Kuroko and Kagami can work so well together, they're beating the Emperor Ai. And because Akashi has completely forsaken his teammates, there's nothing really he can do. Akashi's all freaked out. He tries to shoot a basket and misses. All the Generation of Miracles kids are sitting up the stands like, oh my god, Akashi is discombobulated and out of the zone. And they're only 10 points down. Saren's only 10 points down now. So Akashi started to pass again because he's that freaked out, but the entire team is freaked out now because Akashi is like a mess. Oh, this animation is so glorious. <laughs> that sequence must have cost like a million dollars because it was beautiful. There's five minutes left and Saren's only down by two. Something has to happen. Akashi has to rally and, and do like one last minute crazy thing. Rakazan does a timeout and the coach is actually going to bench Akashi, like, just to, like, get him, let him get his wits about him. And then, what's his face? Kuroko 2.0 stands up and just, like, starts blasting him. Like, stop being an idiot. Get your shit together. Akashi's genuinely having an existential crisis right now, going through all the flashbacks. <laughs> it's, like, it's adorable, but it's, like, kind of sad, too. So, he had a very close relationship with his mom when he was a little kid. Then his mom died, and his mom had, like, given him basketball, almost, so that's why he enjoyed playing it so much. And this developed into a, f a fear that he wasn't going to be able to control all of them, so, like, that's when he- well, it's not when he started splitting, it's when he- you know, he's always been under so much pressure because his dad has been crazy. So crazy Akashi is talking to not crazy Akashi. He's talking to love basketball, love mom Akashi, as opposed to like, I have to win Akashi. They're like talking to each other. And I have to win Akashi. He's like, I have to get rid of you altogether because you are holding me back. Love of basketball Akashi seems to have won. He says, instead of forsaking me, why don't we become one Akashi? Because I really want to win now too. So now maybe he's going to love winning and also Love basketball? This is interesting. He switched from Boku to Ore. <gasps> Wait, so does that mean the crazy yellow eye was actually the... 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 Alright. Stop trying to figure this out too closely. I'm just gonna watch and enjoy. <laughs> just gonna enjoy it. Five minutes left, down by two points. Akashi apologizes to his team, which shocks everyone, and he's like, let's all go out and win together. The other Akashi used to call them by their first names, and he would be like really serious and like mean. And then now he's like passing, and he's calling Kuroko Kuroko instead of Tetsuya. And he just, he passed the ball to one of his teammates, Mibuchi, Mibuchi and he scored. And he's like, nice job, Mibuchi, let's keep playing. And everyone's like, what's going on? What Akashi's doing is basically making everybody better. He's, um, all of his passes are perfect to, 
to accommodate the players that he's passing to and to put them in their ideal situation to succeed. Oh my gosh! My gosh, his new zone is that everyone else is now in the zone! Oh my god! This show is amazing! Things are looking pretty bad for Saren at this point. Oh my goodness gracious. Now everyone's looking at Kagami and they're like, oh, he might be at his limit. What are we gonna do? So they're so desperate for a break at this point that Kuroko ends up getting a foul. And they're all like, because oh, they're all out of gas. They're all completely dead. And then from the stands, someone calls for Kuroko to do his best. Is it his friend from the flashback that we never met prior to the flashback? Oh my god, it is! <laughs> what a surprise! Kuroko's so happy, he's like weeping. Yeah, I haven't seen you in such a long time, and after what I did to you, I can't. And then even Aomine got up and is cheering. He's like, come on, guys, you beat us. You have to be able to defeat Rakuzan, too. Everyone is filing in. Everyone's cheering, too. Everyone's cheering against um, Rakuzan. Well, except for Murasaki Bara, because he doesn't care. <laughs> The entire stadium is now cheering for Seiren. Oh, and then Kagami is down in the zone again, and he sees oh, the person isn't standing in the way, he's standing there waiting for me so we can cross the line together. I don't know, they haven't revealed that, I'm just assuming. <laughs> oh my god. So the game resumes, and Akashi's like, I don't get it. Nothing's changed after their little huddle. However, they do appear to be in a rhythm, moving in sync together. They're not faster, they're not shooting better, it's they're just working on defense, really. And then Kagami pops back into the zone all of a sudden. So somehow they're all able to move based on however Kagami is moving. They're just following him. Turns out the true zone is being able to fight with everyone! Oh my god, he opened the door! Even Aumine is weeping, just like, oh, so that's what the zone was. <laughs> so they're all following him while he's in the zone, rather than standing by and just like, admiring him while he's in the zone and relying on him to take care of everything. Now they're all working together! They were so happy with that sequence, they, sequence that they showed it to us like four times. Which is, it was cool every single time, let's be real. So even Akashi's just like, oh, I don't even know how to react to all this! This is all new information for me! So the spectators are noti noting the fact that Seiren seems to have the upper hand even though they have less points. It's 45 seconds left and they're only down by five points! Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Only one episode left, oh my god. So everyone's all fired up, but Izuki is like weirdly, like, all cool. Izuki was able to predict that they would pass it to Nebuya because he was on Kiyoshi, who's at his limit because his knee is killing him. And Izuki beautifully passes it to Hyuga, and Hyuga is able to draw a penalty out of Mibuchi uh, by using his shot. So he scored two. And now there are penalty shots and uh, the free throws. We're only down by one point. So all I have to do is get two points. Because I think they get two points right now. I don't know. <laughs> oh no, so they get one penalty shot. So then he has to accidentally miss on purpose so that they can grab it and score a two. <laughs> so if he accidentally scores, then then they lose, or they tie, or they... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, it's just much. <laughs> so Hyuga successfully misses, and Kyo Kyoshi and Kagami jump for the rebound, and they're just, oh my god, we have to sink it, and Kyoshi gets it, and there's two seconds left. Oh my god, I should be a basketball announcer. <laughs> Kagami passes it to Kuroko, not Kagami, Kiyoshi passes it, everyone's names start with K. Passes it to Kuroko, and then Akashi gets in the way. But Kuroko shoots, and like, F, is it gonna go in? Oh no, because Kagami leaps over everyone's heads and scores the basket. Oh my god! Guys, Saren wins! So when Akashi's like, Oh my god, this is what it feels like to lose. And he goes up to shake Kuroko's hand, and he has like this smile on his face, and he looks all vulnerable and sad. <laughs> He's not being mean or dickish about it. We still have half an episode left to go. What's gonna happen, I wonder? So we're back in the gym, and I guess Kiyoshi is having a going away party. What? Where's he going? 
Oh, I guess he's going to America with Alex for surgery for his knee. Hopefully it'll be okay. And Kuroko's talking to Ogiwara, his little friend. He's like, I'm gonna start playing basketball again, yay! Now we're looking at Kisei's school. I guess this is what the episode is gonna be. They're just gonna show all the kids back at their school. And at Shotoku, they're like, oh my god, we don't have a lot of players right now, but next year we have a lot of younger brothers coming up. This is difficult because they're showing like all the upperclassmen from the team before they're showing which team they belong to, so I don't really know exactly until they show the kid with the hair, the Generation of Miracle kid. And now we're looking at Murasaki Baro's team and they're talking about what they're doing next. At Aumine school, he started going to practice sometimes, <laughs> which is better than never, I guess. And last is Akashi's school with the three uncrowned kings are going to the graduation ceremony for the third years, but um, Akashi chooses not to. Instead, he goes and he personally thanks Mayuzumi, kind of making up with him because he was always kind of treating him like he was dirt. And now we're back to Seiren. After they finish their send-off for Kiyoshi, they all go to the gym to practice basketball, <laughs> of course. <laughs> and they're talking about how they have to win Inter High next year because they lost the first time. And how they have to practice and stuff. It is just like, it implies that there's going to be another season, but there's not. <laughs> and now this ending sequence is cute because they're showing their appointed generation of miracles from each team and their like little friend because every one of them had at least one sidekick that they were particularly close to. So this is cute. And that is the end of Kuroko no Basuke, And I'm really sad it's over, but I loved it. And if anyone. <laughs> says anything bad about this show, like I'm ready to fight them on it. Because even though it's bad, it's like really good too. Because it's, it's like bad in a good way. I don't even know how to explain it. I loved it. I'm going to be doing a series review for this show, um, I guess my second series re review for it because I did a series review for it when it was just two seasons. So I guess I gotta do another one. <laughs> so I'll see you for that and we've already had the voting for what the uh, next show is gonna be. So I'll see you for that too. <laughs> Bye!